Eleven Labs is the holy grail of AI software, especially for faceless content creators. Pretty much every faceless YouTube and TikTok channel that I know of uses Eleven Labs for the voiceovers and sound effects, but the craziest thing is 99% of people don't even know how to effectively leverage this tool. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to actually use Eleven Labs to its fullest potential, including covering their brand new sound effects update. Okay, first things first, everyone watching this video can sign up to Eleven Labs for absolutely free and get 10,000 credits on the house by the first link in the description or in the pinned comment. I'd recommend you sign up now and claim your free credits so you can follow along with me in this tutorial. These credits also mean you can try out the software risk-free before choosing to upgrade to their paid plans. Okay, so let's get started. The first feature we are going to cover is their AI sound effect generator. Sound effects are without a doubt one of the most underrated tools in a creator's arsenal. Whether you post long form or short form, you can always utilize sound effects to hook a viewer and change the mood of your videos. Just look at these two examples if you don't believe me. Yep, that's me. This is where your eyes go, this is where your caption goes, and that's where you tie the hook. But if you are a content creator and anything like me, you've probably come across scenarios where you know the sound effect you want, but you just can't quite pinpoint exactly what it is. Well, now with Eleven Labs, you can describe that exact sound effect and get the output. So logging on to your Eleven Labs dashboard, you want to navigate on the left-hand side where it says Playground down to Sound Effects and click on this tab. From here, Eleven Labs gives you a bunch of categories so you can select a pre-made sound effect. And if you scroll down, you can find a list of popular sound effects that you can preview by clicking on the play button right here. But what we are going to do is we're going to describe a sound effect and create it from scratch. So let's say, for example, we want to create a video and we want to have a coffee shop background ambient audio to play in the video. So you can see at the bottom of the screen, there is describe a sound. So we can can write ambient sound of a coffee shop on repeat. Then in the bottom left, there are three more quick settings. This one is an ambient loop. So I would turn this on because we want the same sound effect on repeat. The second button lets you choose how long you want the sound effect to be and it's preset to auto, but you can increase this as long as 30 seconds. And then the final setting is the prompt influence, aka how much your prompt influences the final sound effect. And then when you are happy, you can click this button in the bottom right corner or hit enter on your keyboard and the sound effect will be created. Eleven Labs gives you four outputs and you can choose your favorite one to download and use in your projects. And so rather than having to pinpoint exactly what sound effect you want to use, you can just describe exactly the sound you want and Eleven Labs creates it for you. I'm gonna make another one, plane taking off from a runway. And then listening to all of the options, number two is my favorite. It most sounds like a plane, so I'm gonna download it so we can use it in our projects. Okay, so that covers Eleven Labs AI sound effects in their brand new update. Let's navigate back to the homepage so we can look at other features. So what Eleven Labs is most famous for is their expansive library of AI voices. Make no mistake about it, faceless YouTube channels have been around for decades, but the problem was that barriers to entry were very steep. Not only did you need a script writer and editor, you also needed someone to do voiceovers, which could cost hundreds of dollars per video. Not only that, but for the voice of a person, you're relying on their turnaround around time and consistency. Eleven Labs has effectively made that market obsolete because their AI voiceovers mean anyone can create a faceless channel. So what you want to do is you want to head over to voices on the left hand side. From here, you'll be brought into a dashboard with all of the Eleven Labs voices. We're gonna stick to the first tab, which says explore, and you can see trending voices at the top these are voices a lot of Eleven Labs users are using in recent weeks. And if you scroll down, you see Weekly Spotlight, which are character voices. So these tend to be ones that are very similar to real life people. Then scrolling down further, you can see realistic customer agent voices. So if you're looking to make AI agents or customer facing roles and you want to use AI, these are good options. Now, an important thing to note is that Eleven Labs has over 5,000 voices across a range of languages. When I've previously mentioned Eleven Labs in my YouTube videos, one of the most common comments I get is, can I make videos in languages other than English? Well, yes, you can. If you head over to filters on the right hand side, you can choose exactly what language you want. And you can even go a step further and choose the accent as well. So you have total customization authority to choose the exact language and accent you want for your videos. Now, Eleven Labs comes with a set of default voices across a range of languages and accents. And a lot of these are actually very common. You've probably heard them already watching videos on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. But what you can also do is save voices to your My Voices section. And the way you do this is any voice you find on Eleven Labs, whether it's through the weekly spotlight or searching, you can then click this button right here, which is a plus, and it adds it to your voices. And the free Eleven Labs plans comes with three different voice slots that you can use. You can even go a step further and create or clone a voice on Eleven Labs. The way you do that is by uploading 10 seconds of audio of your character speaking, and then Eleven Labs can clone that voice and you can use it indefinitely. So let's say you're lazy and you want to use your own voice, but you don't always feel like talking, upload 10 seconds of your voice to Eleven Labs, and now you can do any text-to-speech with your voice 
and use it for the rest of time. Okay, so once you've selected your voices, now the important part is creating the audio. And that is where on the left hand side, we head over to the playground and then text to speech. Text to speech is the most popular way that creators get audio with Eleven Labs. Simply, all you've got to do is write in exactly what you want your character to say. You've got a 5,000 character limit and then Eleven Labs will generate your audio. So once you've written in your audio, on the right hand side, you want to choose your voice. So to make the choice easier, you can select from their default voices to bring up a bunch of the pre-made Eleven Labs voices that are very popular or you can choose one of the voice library ones that you selected before or professional voice clones. And to preview any voice, you just have to click the play button on the right hand side. We're gonna select Bill. He's got that old man voice that's friendly and comforting. Then scrolling down, you want to choose your model and the brand new model that 11 Labs has added is a 11 V3 Alpha model. Now this is still an alpha, so it's not quite perfected, but this is going to be the most expressive model on 11 Labs. It does require more prompt engineering than previous models. However, it will create the most realistic voices over time. The other two models is the 11 Multilingual V2 model and the 11 11 Flash V2.5 model, with the 11 Multilingual V2 model being the highest quality currently on 11 laps. Then going down further, you've got three settings. Speed is exactly what it says on the tin. How fast do you want your character to talk? Now, stability can be a little bit of a confusing one for beginners, but all it means is when you regenerate audio, how consistent are they between generations? When you adjust stability to more stable, it can create a very monotone voice because the character is speaking the same way in every generation. Versus when you make this more stable, it can fluctuate more between generations, the tone and style. I normally tend to keep this around 40 to 50%. Then you've got similarity, which just like speed is pretty much what it says on the tin. How similar are the voices? And the higher this is, the more voice clarity you get. I tend to keep this around 70%. And then finally, style exaggeration. The higher this is, the more exaggerated your voices can be, but it can lead to more instability so the default for this is zero. And so when you're happy with all these settings, you can click generate and the audio is made. This audio was made with 11 labs. Now let's say you tried text to speech, but it doesn't quite give you the same style and tone that you're looking for. Well, you can try voice changer. What this means is you can speak into the microphone with a specific style and tone, and then you can just change this into another voice. So let's give it a go right now so you see exactly what I mean. Welcome to the Dennis Sankar YouTube channel. Make sure you do subscribe down below to keep up to date with AI based videos. Then with that recording, you can do exactly the same settings as before, choosing the voice, model, stability, similarity, and style exaggeration to generate a new audio. Welcome to the Dennis Sankar YouTube channel. Make sure you do subscribe down below to keep up to date with AI based videos. And there we go. Exactly what I said in the same style and tone, just with a different voice so you wouldn't recognize it's me. So that covers how to generate speech through text and through voice, but sometimes you want to actually isolate the voice from the sound. This is important because when I've gone to record outside, but there's way too much background audio, it's distorted what I'm actually saying, that can be so frustrating, especially for the viewer. So you can drop in a video or audio file and then isolate the voice or sound just like we've got right here. Four life rules your father should have taught you. Travel and tell stories. Use money to fuel purpose. Never take sides against your family. So that covers the main features of Eleven Labs. We're going to cover one more use case that can be very valuable, especially for a certain type of agency. Now, you may have seen popular creators like Mr. Beast in the past create YouTube channels in separate languages to appeal to wider audiences. Well, YouTube now allows automatic dubbing, but the problem is sometimes it's not exactly perfect. And more than that, the voices used are very robotic and monotone. You can approach creators and offer to do their dubbing for them, promising better quality translations and more importantly, voices that are more energetic and fit the style of content. And on Eleven Labs, you can do exactly this, dubbing across 29 different languages. And the best part is that this is super easy with Eleven Labs. Just click create a new dub. From here, you can choose your project name and upload the file, whether it is from your computer or directly from YouTube, TikTok or another source. Then you can choose the current language or get 11 labs to detect it for you and then choose your target language. For example, I'm going to get 11 labs to dub one of my motivational videos into Spanish. Cuatro reglas de vida que tu padre debería haberte enseñado. Uno, vive con audacia y toma riesgos. Dos, viaja y cuenta historias. Tres, usa el dinero para impulsar un propósito. Cuatro, nunca te pongas en contra de tu familia. Okay, so that is a run through on how to use the Eleven Labs platform. Let's detail some use cases so you know how to make money from this tool. So I spoke previously about how you can use the voiceovers for your own faceless content creation channels. Well, this is probably the most popular use case of Eleven Labs. I first made money through TikTok and YouTube Shorts theme pages. However, back in 2021 when I started, Eleven Labs wasn't really around and AI voices definitely wasn't really a thing. The most popular AI voice was the robotic text-to-speech Google voice that everyone seemed to use from the Google Translate button. However, now with Eleven Labs, there is just so much variety that you can customize as much as you desire. I would recommend doing some kind of commentary channel on YouTube Shorts and TikTok, like the examples I'm flashing up on screen 
right now. And if you're looking for inspiration as to what niches to go for, I'd recommend using Verlo. It's an AI tool that's got 35,000 users and it shows you exactly what niches and trends are going viral across short form content. The other use case, as I mentioned before, is doing dubbing for popular creators and as an agency. You can even head over to Fiverr or Upwork and offer to do voiceovers and just use your Eleven Labs voice rather than your own. You can also add your own voice to Eleven Labs and the community can then use your voice in their videos and you get paid royalties every time your voice is utilized. So this can be a cool way of making some passive income, especially if your voice is popular, but do remember it will be on Eleven Labs for their creators to use. As mentioned at the top of this video, when you signed up to Eleven Labs, you get 10,000 free credits, and then you can upgrade to one of their paid plans. What Eleven Labs does really well is it covers a wide range of personas from beginners all the way up to advanced businesses. So whether you want to just begin creating content and the free plan is not quite enough, you want to go a little bit further, you can start off their starter plan for just five bucks a month, all the way up to businesses spending thousands of dollars per month to do all of their generations with Eleven Labs. I've used a scale plan before personally, and my software company has used the business plan. So I can say firsthand Eleven Labs is very, very useful, especially if you scale up to the higher paid plans. And if you're planning on using tens of millions of credits per month, you can even set up an enterprise plan on a custom pricing for you and you can negotiate this with Eleven Labs. So I covered exactly how to use Eleven Labs and you have all of the information necessary to never waste your credits ever again. Let me know in the comment section down below your experience with Eleven Labs and any questions that I may have missed from this tutorial. And if you like staying up to date with the best AI tools and how to go viral with content, you've got to subscribe down below. And check out this video right beside me as I've gone through five viral underrated AI tools you may not have heard of. I'll catch you right there.